the central tenet is, can you see an electron going around an atom? That's what he asks. Mm -hmm. The answer is no. We cannot observe an electron going around an atom. We can't see it. What can we see? What we can see are spectral lines, their frequencies, and their brightness. That's what we should be concerned about. Those are, in principle, observable. That's what he uses. He says, in principle, those are observable. This stuff is what's called old quantum theory. Okay. Okay? Because the whole point is, what they're trying to do is they're trying to like get like some kind of visual mechanistic understanding of what's happening inside of the atom. Mm -hmm. Okay? They're like, they're like, how does the electron go around the atom? And it, this starts frustrating a lot of people, specifically the young people. Because the old guys are really into this, right? Mm -hmm. They're they're in this old phase right. from the 1905, 1910s, right. 1920s, where it's worked. Right. Bohr did this, and it worked. Sommerfield yep. did this, and now he's explaining this stuff. Yep. So it's working. Mm -hmm. But the new guys aren't aren't really yeah, sold on not, it. They're not rocking with it. Right? So Heisenberg specifically is not rocking with it. He's also really into mock and positivism. Mm -hmm. okay? okay? So he has this, like, crazy um case of hay fever he, he had allergies all his life um he actually went to copenhagen for a bit to to see niels bohr got the hay fever and so he went to this um this island off the north sea in germany um and he just like stayed there for like two weeks all on his own mm -hmm. and that's where he comes up with this magician shit oh my god okay on his own uh, on an island trying to recover from yeah, allergies yeah, yeah. On, on his bout of hay fever just yeah sweating in the bed sweating in the bed and he has this epiphany <laughs> yep. and his epiphany has to do with the same one of his big f he was a huge fan of einstein mm -hmm. okay and he loved the fact that einstein used this like mox positivism to right. say what is the stuff that i can measure what is my experience and he asked the same thing about this and his dude his paper the umdeutung paper in 1925 it's written, his first page is like a manifesto about philosophy mm -hmm. and how physics needs a new direction. And like, it's just this pretentious, like, it's it, it's like this tirade on yeah. why everyone else is wrong. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Can you see an electron going around an atom? Okay. That's what he asks. Mm -hmm. The answer is no. Like the, we can see planets move around, yeah, but yeah. we can't do that with this stuff. Right. What we can see is their transitions from different energy levels. Mm -hmm. And we can see how bright those transitions are. Mm -hmm. That's what we should be concerned with. Mm -hmm. So he develops a new quantum description for the kinematics and the mechanics of atoms. Mm -hmm. That's what he called it.